Hi guys, today in this video we will learn how to analyze the cash flow statement based on common size or vertical analysis approach in Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so before I start to show you the preparation of this statement, first we have to take the cash flow statement data as a question. Okay, alright, you can see that we have a cash flow statement data here, right, as well as the sales revenue okay actually the common size cash flow statement can only be prepared when we have the sales revenue because the common size cash flow statement can be prepared by using the percentage of sales method right so that we must have the sales revenue data as well along with the cash flow statement right so we have a cash flow statement and sales revenue data okay so based on these two you know information we can prepare the common size cash flow statement right so without spending more time, let's get started. All right, here you can see that this is the, you know, our questions that I have just copied from the C2 to C3. All right. And this is our calculation area. You can see where we will calculate the percentage of the each component of the cash flow statement by using the percentage of sales method all right okay so first click here and now let's start to calculate it so press the equal to sign and now click this one to get the value of cash received from sales right and now press the divide sign from your keyword and now we have to take the sales amount right which is not here we have to go to the seat 2 to get the sales amount okay so i'm going to click here and now click this one and now let's fix this row so that the row will not be moved all right only col column will be moved all right so i'm going to click on the formula bar and now click here and now press the dollar sign between the cell reference okay so press the shift and four key button from your keyboard okay now click here and now press the enter key and you can see that the value is showing in percentage form because i have already changed the format from general to percentage form by the help of this menu all right you can see okay now click here and drag simply here to here and click here and drag simply here to here all right okay now let's make the border as per this statement all right so i'm going to click here and now just select from here to here and now let's first bold it by pressing the control b and now let's add the border here so for this i'm going to use the shortcut key from the keyboard so press the alt h b d and you can see all right similarly i'm going to click here and now let's copy this by pressing the control c and now click here and now press control b to paste it to copy the format okay similarly click here and now press ctrl v to paste it similarly click here and now press ctrl v to paste it all right you can see this all right now press ctrl yes to save it and now let's delete some unnecessary rows from the calculation area like this one now click here and select from here to here and now delete this by pressing the delete button from your keyboard okay similarly click here and now just select from here to here and now press the delete button from your keyboard to remove the values all right and now click here and now select from here to here and now press ctrl b to bold it okay now we are successfully calculated the percentage of all the component of cash flow statement now based on this calculated value based on this calculated value we can interpret the result for example we have the first component of the cash flow statement under the cash flow from operating activ activities is cash received from sales which is 70 percent in the year 2021 that means the 70% sales is our cash sales while the 30% is our credit sales. Okay. Similarly, you can see that in the year 2021 or any year from this range, we can see that the cash payment to purchase is 16%. That means we are paying cash 16% of total purchase and others 84% is our credit purchase okay and in this sections we can see that we don't have any uh, investment activities that's why the value is showing zero percent but under the in financing activities we can see that the additional paid in capital is 240 percent of total sales that means this is the overvalued than the sales amount okay in the year 2021 similarly in the year 2022 or 2023rd we can see the result like this okay so this is the you know basic technique to interpret the result okay so guys 
that's all for now thanks for watching this video if you find it useful then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in the next video of this series signing off